Yo, what's up? Another episode of the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show, episode 38 at the Mecca Mike. What's up, man? Dude, what's up, bro? We're back, season number two, back in full effect, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day down here in Arizona. If you get a chance, come on down to Josh Barnett's Metro Flex Gym. It's the I-17 and Bell. And if you say you're with the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show, you pay zero to train for the day. And if you don't, you pay five bucks. That's fast. So yeah, mention the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show. Man, we have a lot of uh, good things coming up in season two. We're gonna make it a road trip to California. I uh, don't want to, you know, spoil the surprise, but some huge names we're going to interview. Um, also, we want to talk about some new sponsors that we have. I think, uh, uh, you my know. MyOatmeal.com. We have six-pack bags. I brought one here. Actually, I haven't uh, gotten the new backpack yet. But if you don't know what a six-pack bag is, um, then you probably don't know what bodybuilding is all about. you got to bring your meals, meal prep. Great product. Uh, thanks, Jeff, for that. Uh, what else we got, Mike? Well, guys, we've just been blessed over the last year or two when we started with the show. It started off with the concept, and now we're going into what we call our season two, and it's growing. We have some pretty major sponsors that are backing us now, and we continue to grow. So we just want to thank Peoria Ford, our number one sponsor, Big AZ Promotions, Iron Infinity. Metroflex Gym, Metro of course. Metroflex Gym. We have uh, a, MHTH. Yeah, MHTH, and you know, we've been kind of holding out for a supplement sponsor want to have you know someone that strives to be the best as we do with a great product line we're not going to announce it yet because we're about this close but that's going to add a great layer to our show talk about you know what we're using you know the from you know the protein powders the post-workout the pre-workout the uh as we're both going into dieting season. Yeah. So um, with no further ado, guys, we, uh, we are kicking off the 2014 uh, contest season. Uh, Arizona is very much alive and in the middle of some of the best names in NPC and the IFBB. Uh, and we're gonna start the season out right by bringing in one of the top NPC heavyweights, uh, shooting for a pro card. I'm gonna be battling against this guy very soon. Uh, it's our honor to have Frank uh, Nezdoba Nez Doba in the house. house. Frank the Tank Nezdoba, and you know he's gonna talk about where he's been, how he got into bodybuilding, and why he's picking the Dennis James Classic over any other show in Arizona. So Frank the Tank, man, what's up, buddy? Without further ado, man, Frank in the it's house. You guys. This guy's Appreciate jacked, dude. And then we had Matt Christianer on here, Christian Yer. And uh, boy, he has some of the best hair in body movies. So you did too. I like that little. He's got, he's Frank's got, little got little some cooler hair. I like more hair. I just need a little more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a little thicker. You know what I mean? So I like it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on the show. Yeah, dude, he's an all-state. Uh, well, back in the day, or all-state yeah. inside linebacker. Yeah, all-state inside linebacker. I played a little football, but you know, when you're playing football, you know, you always want to look like a bodybuilder. Sure. But yeah. play football, right? <laughs> so you know, I mean, after football, you know, there's not a whole lot of room for guys that are. Maybe five eight on a good day. Right? <laughs> right. Right. Say on a good day. I know. So I can you know, relate. They, yeah. So then you know you kind of you know pick pick uh, bodybuilding up from there. Well, let's back that yeah. up just a second. Are you are you a native from from Arizona, Frank? I'm actually not. I'm actually from uh, Pennsylvania. It's about uh, sixty miles north of Pittsburgh. Sharon Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh still your team or what? Yeah, of course, man. The Steelers. I'm a Bengal fan. Yeah, now. that's all right. <laughs> we, we still be friends. Yeah, we still be friends. You know what I mean? Right. So we always got to talk about the six rings, right? Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah, Thank people you people hate hearing that, but you know, it's gotta throw it out there. It's so, a fact. Yeah, it's a fact right. that cannot be taken away. There we go. Uh, how'd you how'd you uh, make that jump? Obviously, you're a football player. You're a wrestler. You're athletic. You probably always had you know genetically with these big legs. But uh, like when did you decide to be a bodybuilder? You know, uh, you know, I, I think all of us, you know, uh, when we're younger, you know, we're always reading magazines, of course, uh, of course, with Arnold watching his movies. I mean, that guy was like the biggest thing ever, you know, yeah. he's the only bodybuilder in movies for all of us, for the right. most part. Right. You know what I mean? So obviously, you know, when you're, you know, you're in the sports and, you know, you look at somebody like this, you're like, Jesus, man, how's this guy look like this? You know what I mean? It kind of kind of goes from there. You know what I mean? You spark an interest and, you know, kind of goes well, from being there. where you are now, I mean, you're, you're a national level guy. I mean, on the bubble, on the cusp of getting your pro card, you know, what you've learned all these years compared to where you started, it's kind of funny where the nutrition, how important that is oh, yes. with all the food. And we talked a little bit about your success. And because I mean, last time we saw you on stage was what? Here in Arizona was. Yeah, two, that, 2008 was the last time I was here. And, and but the last time I went on stage, before we go yeah. there, because I know where you're going that with that, but I want to back it up just a little bit. Before we dive into the meat and potatoes of, of, of some of the things we want to talk about with Frank, I want to talk a little bit more about your contest history. When was Five the first, first show? Place finishes. Um, yeah. What you know? What led you up to your shows at this point? And I think the last time we, we talked, we were on stage. We were both at the LA show in 2010. Yes. yes. So, kind of give us a quick, you know, rundown of first show, last show, and what's going on next. Yeah. So uh, my first show was in 2004. I started here doing that Mr. Arizona. Then I went to the Western Regional. 
Um, I started, so I basically did the, um, the Arizona, the Western Regional for the first couple years. 2006, I finally went to LA, did real well there as a light heavyweight. And then the last show I did was in 2010 at the LA's, which I did not do so great, but hopefully that'll change this year. Sure. As a heavyweight, I was always a light heavyweight, now I'm a heavyweight. It's right. just, you know, it's a different change. You know, this is one of the reasons I, you know, I hooked up with Dennis. Sure. And 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 Team Dennis. If you don't know who Frank, if you don't know a lot about Frank Nesdova, uh, when I first got into competitive bodybuilding, uh, I got hooked up with High Health, and every High Health store I went into, was Frank Nesdova. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, here's this Frank Nesdova, and then, yeah. you know, and then now I know you, you know, I've seen you at shows, and, um, but there's a reason why that you picked the Dennis James Classic over any, any other show. Yes. Why is that? Um, well, people, people in Arizona for a very long time, not a lot of people know this, but the shows here have not been the best. Uh, the, the judging has been horrible for the most part, in my opinion. Uh, Dennis James is going to completely change this. He fi finally got his own show here. He's actually going to have real judges here. Yeah. It's a national qualifier, it's too. It's He's it. bringing in IFBB yeah, judges. So this is an inaugural show, May 31st. Yeah. Frank and I are both competing in. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to change things here in Arizona a lot. I couldn't be happier. Uh, like I said, just the way that things have been going here for a very long time, uh, the judging is just, it, it's horrible. It's awful. You know, de you know, Dennis is able to bring in guys, IBB judges, national level judges, to be able to judge us, right? And this is all we want here in Arizona. Yeah. And I yes. think what, and, and let's talk about that real quick, yeah. guys. And I think what we, what, and, and, and we don't want to say the judges are horrible without saying yeah. this is why we, but this is why this, th this opinion is out there. So I think the things we try to talk about in an example is somebody competing in, in the novice division, for example, and then competing in the open division, and then somebody beating them in the novice, and then them beating them in the open. Something there, one plus one has to equal two, and if it doesn't, then something's not right there. And so yeah. those are kind of some of the examples. Yes. Now, when I first moved to Arizona, all I ever heard about was Frank broke a trophy and yes. this. Yeah, thing. Yes. Yes. So, and, and you know that yes. so it's a it, yes. it's a story that's in. It, it came with the suspension. Yes, it did. Let's talk about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the suspension. It was in two thousand eight. You know. Um, now, was this the thing with your wife and my, Miles? Is this, uh, the, you, is this a you different know, one? Uh, no, my my uh, <laughs> my, uh, my my girlfriend. She did get pretty pissed. Okay. Yeah, she did do that. So we have she two did, different incidents. You know, I think that was the same night. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? So I'm sure this is the, the, uh, pretty much the same night. But she got very pissed at the you know the judges. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And she went off on them as well. You know what I mean? I did something stupid backstage, broke the trophy after I did win the overall. That was my fifth fifth time placing first, no overall. Well, know? what was? Let's so, take us through that, yeah. Frank. Like, what was? Because I think in, no in hindsight, yeah. uh, I think it was a kid, uh, a kid that just recently won the show this last year, or this November show. Brandon Brand Stanton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. In hindsight, and, and, I, and now that I know you, did, you yeah. know what I mean? Because you, whenever you hear things about people, oh it, that's God, what yeah. their perception, yes, you know what I mean? So you get this. Like, yeah, but yeah. now that I know you, I mean, I, I feel like, you know what, Frank would probably, re, if you could redo that, you would redo that situation. Would you? Would you redo it differently as far as you breaking the trophy, doing those kind of things? Because yeah, that—that that is the shit that usually sticks with people, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no. And I, I don't and, see you as yeah. that guy. No, definitely not. You know, I think it was uh, the most you got the best of me right. at the same time. Would I take it back? I don't know. We got me since five or six months. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, you know what you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? When you feel this way, you know what I mean. After the right, show, you feel and, passionate and about then, it. And then, and then you know, after the show, Miles he did get on a little bit as well too. Sure. You know, he came up to me and started talking trash, and it just went nowhere good for me. Right. You know what I mean? So, and, and that's kind of how it, it ended up. So, but like I said, but from now, you know, I'm back on track and ready to rock and roll. So, like I said, I couldn't be happier about it. like I said, that's James Classic, and it's gonna be good, man. But you guys are gonna be there, so I'm excited. Yeah. But we were talking about uh, Frank the other night in the man cave. Uh, you know, we're walk, we always we watch. We spend a lot of time there. We spend a lot of time there. You know, Josh, you've been in the man cave. What do we do in the man cave? We watch bodybuilding videos. And we're checking out this bodybuilding video. And it was Bodybuilding by Zanzi, which is one of the biggest bodybuilding videos you can watch. And it goes from um, Lee Priest, Frank Nesdova, to like Flex Wheeler. It's like, we were wild that way. Was that just Frank in there? I mean, you're in the, I mean how does that feel to be in the mix with these you know, legendary that, bodybuilders? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm pretty realistic where I'm at as far as bodybuilding goes. I mean, these guys are obviously legendary, you know. But Have I mean, you been seeing the video? Uh, no. Dude, I'll send you the video. <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome, dude. He's, he's, he's doing, doing some, like, uh, reverse curls okay. or something. Yeah. And you look jacked. No, I, mean, I think you got your shirt off and everything. Yeah, there you go. I must have been in shape, man. I must have been in shape, man. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, so tell us a little bit about leading up to where you're at right now. I mean, uh, you're getting ready to compete again. Yes, we're, we're when's, the, when's the prep start? 20 when's weeks out right now? So yeah, we're, we're 20 weeks out now. Actually, today we're 20 weeks out. And so, Dennis is your coach? Yeah, Dennis is my coach. Uh, it's the best decision I've ever made. 
you know, uh, I've never had a prep coach, and, and there, was, there was people I thought about before I hired him, mm -hmm. but I tell you what, man, this guy's got such a big heart and helps so many people out. I mean, this yeah. guy's like family to me. Right. You know what I mean? He's like, a, he's like an older brother. You know, I can't well, we all three up. spent yes, a yes, good yes. A weekend yes. together, yes. all of us, collectively yeah. at yeah. Dennis's house, and, and again, the guy has opened up his, his home and, and seeing him here today. Again, dude, yes. this cracks me up every time I'm around him. So yeah, he, he's he, a good person. Yes, he is. He's had an awesome off season. Yes, right? yes, man. I I've been with him for about uh, about four months. You know, about four months. And like I said, uh, you know, my body's definitely changed. And you know, Dennis, he's straight to the point, man. If you want to know him, you know what I mean. He's no BS. And you know, this is what you need. Right. You know, this and is you're, what you, need. you know, obviously, you have to. It's nice to have a coach, a prep yeah. coach, because you know, you can like I'm relying on Mike. You yeah. rely on Dennis, yes. but you're also a personal trainer. You get you you're yeah. taking, taking people to. Um, you know, contest prep and coaching yourself. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, the majority, I do uh, coach some athletes. The majority of people uh, that I train, you know, they what, just want to be what, And what gym are you at? Uh, I actually train out of Fitness One. Okay. You know, even though I love Metroflex here as well, too. You know, so like you're training jobs, Fitness you know? One that's out off yeah, the 303, Yeah, it's, right? it's 303 and Surprise. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's a, yeah, it's about, it's about 30 minutes away from me. Well, if you're on, on the, the west side and you're looking to get into bodybuilding and get in shape, Frank Nezdova, I mean, this guy is... Okay. And you're not him. just you're not just training bodybuilders though. No. You're training people that want to make a difference in yeah, their life, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah. You know, this this is the biggest thing for me. You know, not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. You know, most of yeah, yes. You know, and for us as bodybuilders, we're kind of like, well, why won't people want to do this? Right. You know, because it doesn't. You know, you know, the general public sometimes they don't understand. You know, what right. I mean? and for me, I don't care what you do. Just be healthy, get in shape, right. do something. You know what I mean? Right. Well, so in the spirit of that, how much emphasis do you put on the nutrition versus the training? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people think it's you know eighty percent nutrition, twenty yes. percent. Where are you at on that? Where are you yeah, at? about the same. About, about the same. Way. You know, you definitely got to get it done in the gym, but it's it's also you know you're only in the gym. We always say this: we're only in the gym an hour a day. Right. You know what I mean? It's the other freaking hours that we spend at home, and we got to get it done. You know what I mean? And stay on track with everything. That you know, seems so to be the most it. difficult yes. too. Is yes. everything yes. outside of the gym? Yes, it you know? is, man. You know, we have distractions. Right. You know what I mean? But you know, all of us, man, we all go through things. All of us bodybuilders, you know, we Absolutely. always have our ups and downs. You know. So it's just a matter of pushing through it and getting it done at the end of the day. Well, Mike and I, we made plans, we thought, to do legs with this guy today. And we came in and he was doing hamstrings. I was so jacked, dude. Yeah, yeah, I was so because, yeah. you know, if you haven't, you got to look up Frank Nesdova on, online if you haven't, if you don't know him. But it was, uh, it's no accident that we asked him who his favorite bodybuilder was. And he says, Paul DeMeo. Well, that's Quadzilla, right? This guy you got huge legs. Well, yes, and with that being huge. said, yeah. what I mean, if you guys haven't seen the RX Muscle uh, Bros versus Joes, yeah. Frank is the record holder yeah. with reps at 405, right? Yeah, it was actually we right here at the Mecca right here at Metroplex. Yeah, yeah. What was it? 20? Uh, we did uh, 405. It was uh, 31. <laughs> 31. 31. <laughs> <laughs> so and, you know, and he's not, it's not yeah, this, yeah. it's ass to the floor. Yeah, I promise you they're not half squats. You know yeah. what I mean? A lot yeah. of people, you know, get online and talk trash and whatever, but, you know, it's all kind of funny. You know? Yeah, you Frank's know, behind me when I'm doing squats today, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm going all the way down, man. I'm not going to say I was watching it, too. I was watching. You yes, know? I know. You know, always watch everybody. Of course, man. You got that corner of the axe. We're going to train, we're going to train legs with Frank, dude. His legs are huge. I'm like, he's going to kill us. And then we got there, we're like, oh, I'm doing hands. I know, man. We'll get you next time. We will, yeah, we will. We'll get in a training session, that's for sure. That's for so sure. not not just a bodybuilder, not just a trainer, but I mean, you're a proud father. Of course, you know, I just had uh, my third son actually uh, six months ago, uh, Talon. You know, this guy's got three sons, I have two daughters, and you know what they say, it takes a man to make a boy. Yeah, there we go, I like that man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that man. I like that man. <laughs> So, but yeah, six months, you know, six, he's six months old, and, uh, you know, he's awesome, man. You know I mean? I love being a father, and, you know, I love my boys, man. You know? What are their names? Uh, so we have Taylor, which is funny. We have Titus. Kind of like, Titus. Yeah, yeah, Titus. Yeah. And then we have Talon, you know? So, Talon. Yeah. Stuck with the T's. Stuck with the T's, man. So, oh, I gotta do it. So. Is that a theme, or is that a coincidence? You know you know what? Uh, I don't know. It's a little theme, but a little coincidence as well. But all their middle names is James, so, you know, it's oh, kind okay. of, yeah. That's cool. And that's is, cool. That, is that your dad's name? Uh, it's my middle name. Oh, your middle yeah. name. Okay, cool. So, Cool. So, yeah, it's not too bad, you know. So what would it, uh, you know, coming up the ranks and you're obviously your aspiration to be an IFBB pro, of course. Uh, what would you do with your pro card? I mean, you know, I know for myself, if I got my pro card, it would be like a lifetime achievement award yes. of, you know, 28 years of training. Yes. And here I am finally, you know, have some paper to show, hey, you know, I put in my time. But would you would you continue on? Would you be in the 212? What would you do with that? Yes, I think... Uh, you know, like I, like I said, once again, I'm pretty realistic with myself. I think 212s would, would be a great fit for me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, the 212 guys, they look amazing. All these guys look just, I mean, they're ridiculous, you right. know. But then there's ridiculous, and then you have the open class, yeah. which is like, <laughs> insane. I don't even know what to say. You know, Retarded. Like, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous, the size of these guys. You know, I think a lot of the 212 guys, even they look phenomenal. I don't think you would see some of these guys behind some of these open guys. You know what I mean? It's just 
it's the way it is, you know what right. I mean? But that is definitely a goal of mine, you know, for sure. You know, I mean, it's all of our dreams so one day. And I, yeah, I think yeah. it's an aspiration once you get there to oh, and also you're, you know, I think yeah, that, yeah, of course, you know, course. You, know, you have a very successful trading business, but just to have that, you know, IFBB Pro Fragments Dova, yes. you know, as you know, for your personal training, it, yeah. it kind of has more credibility. It, it really it. does. I, I think yeah. it does. You know, when you're a pro, you know, like I told you guys before, this is something nobody can take away from you. You know, you put in the time, you put in the hard work. Nobody gave you this. You know what I mean? This is something you did by yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe with a good support team around you, but at the same, sure. same time, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about you and what you can get done. Right. You know what, what, I mean? what would you say, you know, what, what's one of the hardest things? Let's say you're, you know, you're four weeks out. And you know, at least for me at that point, the carbs are lower and I'm doing all this cardio. And it's, it, and it's just persevering and, and really digging down deep behind that fire inside to, to get the cardio done, stick to your diet. What's the hardest thing for you? I mean, is it is it getting closer to is the water depletion? Is it, you know, when does it start getting tough for you? You, you know, probably so around the same time, you know? And, and I realize at the same time, everybody is going through this. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It's more mental than anything else, you know what I mean? You yeah. just gotta fight through it. And everybody's going through this. This is why why we all do this, you know what I mean? Right. As we're going through this, I think a lot of us kind of question it, like why are we do this, you know? Right. At right. times, uh, not sure. all the time. But sure. I think people do this, you know what I mean? But sure. then if they, you know, like I said, you gotta think, man, there's people out there busting their ass you know, just as hard as you, if not harder. You know, well, and, so, and, yeah. just remind yourself, you know, I'm yeah. doing this because I love it. Yeah, right? this right. is this is it. You know, I mean, we all love it at the end of the day. That's why we do this. And, you know, this is what separates us from other people. You know, I mean, not a lot of other people would do this. And, you know, people think that, you know, they could do it, but they never try. We say you know, that all the yes, time. Yes, yes, man. If yes. I took that, I'd yeah. be like, no, yeah. you can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't, yeah. you can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a frank Fan. I'm a fan of yours, Frank. I like to, I look at your physique and I see potential, potential, potential. I've seen you. I want to see you rip. Yes. I want to see yes. you bring yes. your A game yes. to the show. Yes. Number one, I want to compete against yes. you. Yeah. Number two, I, I want to see it brought because yes. I think that every time I've seen you, it's been that yeah. close, yes. dude. Yeah. But, like, yeah. but oh, never I there. Yeah. No, I, my, and, I couldn't agree with you more. And, and yes. I think if, when, yep. you know, me and you and Kyle and some of these other guys, if you guys get a chance to come out and watch this show, it's going to be probably one of the most competitive heavyweight classes in, that Arizona has ever seen. Um, there's, there's well, you some get top guys, guys that have won overall titles that are used to winning, being national level guys that might not even qualify, might not make the top five. I so think if you can make the top five in this show, you're, you're, it's going to be a hell of a, it's going to be a hell of a pose off. Yeah, yes, yes, it, you know will. what I mean? Yes, it's it going to be a very competitive show. So make sure that you guys get your ticket. We expect to see you there for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You got to support Arizona bodybuilding. It's up to us. It's a shame. You know, this last show. What, 513 competitors? It's a two day show, it was sold out. This is going to be a one day show. I expect the same thing. Sold, uh, sold out, uh, record number of competitors. Yeah. I, I think so. I, I think this is what Dennis James, this is what he brings to the tables. You know, he's having, uh, uh, you know, Dennis Wolf coming, Big Ramy, he's coming to guest pose. I mean, these guys are, you know, I mean, phenomenal. You know what I mean? So for them to be here, you know, I think it's going to be a Right, right. And Definitely I think gonna, draw a yeah, I think it's going to be, like I said, I think it's going to be the best show ever in Arizona. You, you know, know when we talked yeah. to, oh, before it, it slips my mind, we all three collectively talked, and we talk about this a lot, guys coming up to that national, that national level. <laughs> my Leroni, coming up to that national level. And, and we talked about, you know, the top twos, guys qualifying and stuff. And, yeah. and I always ask this question, and, and when we jump into those national stages again, oh, yeah. what would you say to somebody that is at that point where they've qualified, but then they have to ask themselves, realistically ask themselves, are you ready for that? Yeah. You know, and coming from somebody that's been backstage at one of those national shows. Yeah, you've competed What do you think? I mean, what was it when you got back <laughs> there, dude? It, it, was, it was a jump, let me tell you, it was a jump. Uh, I, I would say definitely be realistic with yourself, no doubt about it, be realistic with yourself and know at the national level, it is no joke. You know right. what I mean? And well, you know, you you go there, not to interrupt you, but you you go there. You know, you get your feelings hurt. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you do. which might be a good thing. You know, yeah, yeah. it may be a good yes, yes. You yeah. know, we have those are all the guys you, you know? see in magazines. Yes, they're all, they're yes. all pro bodybuilders. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would, you know, I would definitely. Uh, you know, kind of go over your physique, really look at it, and make sure you're ready to do it. And wouldn't you say, and I, I think you guys maybe can agree on this, because I probably would have rethought about doing nationals had I had the right people telling yeah. me, dude, you're not ready for yes. this. Yes. No matter how much my ego yeah. said, I yeah. want to do this, you're not ready for yeah. this. Yeah, well, you went an overall, and you're yeah. like, okay, I'm ready to go. I think I want an overall. Yes, the USA's, and I'm like, 
Okay, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. Yeah. It, it, it takes life. It's a humbling I mean, experience. Yeah, it, really it is very humbling. You know, and like I said, this is, you know, I think a lot of guys go this, you know, place first or second in, in, in one of their shows, or even when you overall, and they think they're ready for the national national shows. I would say take your time. You know, uh, trust me, I would say take your time and, and make sure you're ready for it. Right. You know what I mean? And, and have a good support group around you. You know, this is the biggest thing. On the uh, on the pro scene, I know you're a big fan, obviously, of, yeah. the, of the sport. Yes. Um, let's, let's talk about the Olympia. Yeah. Um, we had Kai and, and um, Phil Heath battling out again. Uh, I thought the year before, I thought Kai was a lot closer. Yes. Uh, what did you think of that? Show? You know, I thought it was uh, I thought it was close again. Um, I, I thought that Kai. Um, I, I think Kai is phenomenal. I'm not taking anything away from Phil, not at all. Uh, I, I think Kai had him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wasn't there. I only saw the pictures. It's just you know my opinion. Size. Yeah, it's, it's what I think. I think Dennis Wolf. There's a lot to be said for him because man, he looked phenomenal, you know. And I think he's gonna be the front runner coming up the, on the Arnold Classic. That's Arnold. Yeah, that's, I that's, think he definitely yeah. is the front runner. Yeah. But like uh, we were talking about Roly Winkle. Looks like God. Uh, he he's certainly put some size yes, on too. Yeah. Yes, he, yes, he he's gonna be. Here. He's actually doing the Arnold. Yes, well, yes, and he, present he, day, you know, I know Paul DeMeo. It's yeah. you, know, you know, you have these huge legs, so he's he's the guy that inspired you. But if you're gonna pick a physique out there right now, I mean, who's one of your favorites? Ooh, right now. Boy, I don't even know. Uh, I like a lot of the 212 guys. You know? yeah, I, like a, I like a lot I of the guys. A lot of Frank sticks within yeah. his like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps you know, it I, his I, family. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like a lot of the 212 guys, you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, the, the open guys, I mean, they're phenomenal as well, too. You know, obviously, Kai is one of my favorites. Uh, most of the guys, Dennis Wolf, all these, all these type of guys, you know, they're. And Corey uh, Matthews that day. Yeah, yeah. Arms yeah. Arms yeah. You know, he's a 212. Yeah, yeah, he's a 212 guy, you know. Yeah, he did good in the open. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what he placed, but yeah, he did He did very well. Yeah, he did better in the open than he did in the 212. He was doing Europa, right? Yeah. Europa? yeah. 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 Matter of fact, uh, speaking of Europa, they're also going to have an amateur show as well again this year in, in Arizona here, too. They're going to have a pro plus amateur show. So it will be a pro am at the Europa this year. Yeah, yeah. So pro am. So that's another show here in Arizona, you know, that, that people can pick as well. It's going to have good judging as well, too. So, you know, this is something that's going to be very good for us. So, everybody. well, and I think that, it, not to get off on what we were just talking yeah. about, but I think it gives variety and it gives people options, yes. um, which I think is good. Change is good. Variety is good. Options are good. People like those kind of things, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, a little different flavor always always is good at the dinner table. Yeah, know? I think so. Yeah, I think so what's so. your weight right now? Uh, I'm between like 250 and 255 right now. And I start, yeah, I started with Dennis. I was probably around 242 somewhere around there. So how, many, just, how many grams of protein a day are you? Having? Uh, I'm doing about three, about 370 right now. 370. Yeah, like a little more carbs. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, a little more carbs. You know, yeah. keep it about 500 carbs. You know, somewhere around there. So you know, until we start dieting. And you know what's but, so interesting you know, yeah. is it it just goes to say how different body types are yes. because. I am at 600 grams, of, or just over 600 grams of carbs, and just over 500 grams of protein, yeah. and it's just so different how yeah. once you know, and, and it just as a testament of physiques, bodies, yeah. how we're made up. It's just it's interesting. Everybody's yeah. bodies is yeah. totally yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, 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 there yeah, is yeah, not yeah, a blueprint. Yeah, yeah. It is a tongue twister, man. But that, that's the truth, man. Yeah, everybody's body's different, and that's at the end of the day, that's what it's about, man. Trying to figure out your body. It is, you know. And like I said, this is uh, you know, go back to talking about Dennis. I mean, you know, this is one of the reasons I hired him. And, uh, well, it's good because we can take a look at you. And I know when you get to be, you know, we were talking about Rusty Jeffers yes. going into that 212 yes. show, three days, two days out, he's 215, 216, great, and then, you know, he's built over. Yes. So that last 48 hours is really important to have yes. someone keeping an eye on you. Okay, don't have any more water or maybe, you know, take another water pill. Well, they oftentimes yeah. bodybuilders are their worst enemy in the last yes, yeah. two days. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're not ripped more, you know, you think you're not ripped enough, so you like, Well, you can yeah. talk yourself right out of your yeah, best you condition you can. Yeah. And it happens all the time, yes. you know, and that, again, is just having good people, friends, close, you know, yeah. more than just a coach, you know what I mean? And you see that relationship yeah. out of you and Dennis. Yeah. It's more than just a coach, you know, you guys are friends, yeah. because, so that goes a long ways. Yeah. So Frank Mazdoba, he's a competitive bodybuilder. He's a family man, three kids, three boys. He's a personal, uh, he's a trainer. personal trainer. What, what when do you find time? We, you know, what do you do with your kids? What do you, what do, you do? You watch well, movies? That, yeah, we watch movies. What's like, your favorite yeah. movie? Oh, oh man, I got it. Man, I, have, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I like a lot, a lot of the old school movies, man. You like know? Goodfellas or Good, Top Gun? Oh, yeah. Goodfellas, right. Casino. I'm all about these movies, you know? Did you yeah. see The Wolves of Wall Street yet? Oh, no, I haven't seen that yet. Now, here's but like you, a record number of F-bombs in that movie. Yeah, I have to see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I need to see that, too. There's a record number of F-bombs. I like this, man. I like, uh, you know, trading places. You know, you got to go back to some of these old Eddie Murphy movies. Sure. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I thought, awesome. I thought you were going to say, like, Overboard. And no, no, no. no. <laughs> far, <laughs> far and away. No, no. And, far and away know. is good. And I have to say, that, that, that's a great movie, man. You know what I mean? But, but uh, yeah, I was going to bring that one up. Right, right, right. Anyways, right. You know? <laughs>
Well, is there anybody else out there, Frank, that you want to that you want to thank that's helped you? I mean, obviously, we have to have a network of people around yes. us. Um, you know, you have your kids and stuff. Is there anybody else that you want to thank that has continued to help you get to you know your goals, even beyond just bodybuilding? Yeah, you know, you know, you know people. A lot, a lot of my clients, you know, what I'm saying a lot of my clients, they're, they're very good people. You know, what I mean, they motivate me as well too. You know, like I said, you don't always have to get motivation through through other bodybuilders. Absolutely. You know, you know wherever you can find it, you know, is, is going to be better for you. So, um, like I said, uh, you know, just the general people around me. You know, what I mean, I, I want to thank uh, the gyms that I train at. You know, I mean, people that are great. You know, Fitness One, obviously, Metroplex is awesome too. You know, and, and everybody's supported me for a very long time. You know, we got Mike Morris here, obviously Dennis James. Like I said, Dennis James, his family once again, they've, they've been like my family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So these are these are the people that I really want to thank, and you know, all my family in Pennsylvania as well too. And even though I get to see him, though, you know that much. It's a small town back there, so people back there think, oh my God, bodybuilding. You know what I mean? It's such a big deal. You know, which it is. But you know, they've always been there to support me as well too. Oh well, yeah, you know, so the people in Philly that see this. Obviously, it's share the video. Oh, so no. it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually right share. Up. It's actually share. But, but yeah, yeah, sh share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Share, share, the, share the video. Yeah. But I mean, just so that you know, uh, Frankie's is a staple name here in Arizona, and uh, you know, one of the words synonymous with bodybuilding without yeah. a question. Yeah. Right? Bodybuilding in general. <laughs> that is a fact. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, and I, think, and girls. I, think, I think I think the other thing too is is perceptions, man. And, and if you don't know people. Don't go out and pretend like you do, because half of what yes. you hear is bullshit, and the other half of it, you better might you might want to just formulate. Yeah, your own one opinion. of the most genuine guys in the sport. Yeah, and I think that Frank, I think you're a stand-up guy. I think that you're going to do good things in bodybuilding. I can't wait to compete yeah, against you, dude. I'm glad that you're on the team on the show and. Yeah, and uh, you know we appreciate your yeah. time for sure. I appreciate you guys having me on. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Of course, man. I've known, I've known you guys for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? I've known yeah. you guys for many years. So I appreciate you guys having me on. Oh, well, it's all about our community, man. Yeah, and again, we're not changing anything different for 2014. Our show is a platform for all people. Uh, we're gonna stir it up a little bit more. If you do have something to say, we don't care if it's controversial. Yeah. We don't care what it is. Come on out, speak your mind. That's what we're all about, man. It's all about bringing this thing together and having fun with it. And when we're gonna, you know, Frank and I, we're gonna we're gonna compete against one another. We're gonna train yeah, together this year, good, and we're gonna battle it. And I'm gonna want to beat him. He's gonna want to yeah, beat me. But at the end of the day, there's a respect level. Sure. And again, that's what this is all about. So yeah. again, dude, we appreciate you uh, coming out to the show, man. Yeah. We look yes, forward sir, to this yeah. year. Nice, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks, man. Yeah, anytime, man. Frank Nesdoba in the house at the Metroflex gym. Um, look for the Mike and V show heading to California. And uh, California, Vegas, we're coming. We'll be at all the shows. Uh, we've and got we a lot of good a, things coming uh, up. We do have a charity car wash coming up. Charity at, uh, car wash. Three or four with all kinds of fitness people. It's gonna, millions of yeah, it's gonna be awesome. people. people. Yeah, that's we're going to have that on the John Jay and Rich show. It's going to be awesome. So, anybody, watch the video, share the video, like it. Uh, Mike and V Bodybuilding Show. Mike Best, Frank Nesdova, Vincent VJ Hills. Thanks for watching. We're out, guys. Thank you.